infograms, armadillo. Always made for polygons, wow. It's a serious business. 1992. Oh yeah. Good. I can begin a new game. Thank God for the profiler so I can bind these stu <laughs> the keyboard keys to the controller. Begin a new game. I'll go with Carnby. On my door, a dull brass plate says, Private Detective. The few friends I have call me Carnby. The others call me The Reptile. I don't care to think what my banker calls me. These days, I leave my letters unopened. Bills and threats to send in the receivers just ruin my day. When an antique dealer called Gloria Allen contacted me, I slipped into my best shirt, holstered my 38, and got to her shop as fast as I could. I was expecting something sordid. Blackmail, probably. Boy, was I wrong. What I was asked to do was visit a property called Dersetto and find a piano in the loft. It was an old piano with secret drawers. The kind people who buy stuff in antique stores go crazy over. The Dersetto house is supposed to be piled high with classy junk. Furniture, books, paintings. It looked like whoever owned Dersetto was about to get cleaned out. I was going to bring up the subject of money when Gloria Allen handed me a hundred and fifty dollars and a key. I kept myself from grinning at the thought of my banker's surprise. He doesn't like his victims getting away. I looked over a copy of the police report. The former owner of Dersetto, a guy called Jay Hartwood had hanged himself in the loft. The coroner concluded it was a clear-cut case of suicide. I promised Gloria Allen I'd give the place a look over. My report will be ready in a couple of days. I've been reading up on the history of the old house. It's the kind of place ghosts run away from in terror. Grizzly murders, curses, lunacy. <laughs> Luckily, devil worship makes me smile. So, this is my idea of a paid vacation. Now, we'll see about that. $150 was a lot of money back in the 20s. Where does this even take place in the 20s? I think this is before then. Oh, Lord. Oh, fuck you, Frogger. And he got away. I see he hid underneath the vehicle. That's just... Couldn't do that in the game. driven me up the, the driveway, right? That was a taxi, wasn't it? Oh, shit. Being watched. That must have been a taxi. This was scary for 92, believe it. This for a piano that he couldn't possibly move anyway. Okay, I'm halfway tempted to skip this, but I think I'll give it the full intro. stairs apparently. Okay. 
one has to wonder how he even got the piano up there in the first place. How that heartwood fell up. The funny thing is, I don't even think there is a piano up there. I'm gonna take a look when we get up there. Race against the clock. Now, there is the legitimate way of doing all of this. Yeah, there's a piano. All right. So the trick is, you can either move these polygon objects in front of the respective uh, polygon entrapments, such as this trap door, which a creature comes out of the window, yet another creature comes out of. Or, you can try to blitz your way out of here, which is what I'm going to do. Look at that book. This is all serious. This is important stuff. I did it in record time. You get like a minute... I don't want to say that. I think it may be a minute tops to get out of there before the enemy spawn. This is this is probably the first of its kind, a polygon game or a horror game. Horror games were not as commonplace as they are today, especially with the lack of an ind independent gaming scene. There really wasn't much to speak of. And uh, as far as I know, this game served as sort of the uh, the, the basis for Resident Evil, at least the, in some basic inspiration. Okay, it's locked. Yeah, I did. Oh, we got. Moon ghost over there? What the hell is that a picture of? It's just crazy looking. Alright, this stuff's scary. Alright, polygon chair. Do your duty. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. go. So shit's going down. Search, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna use this. Oh, shit! Alright, come on. Let's, let's kite you over here. I forgot all about your ass. Oh, and this chair is gonna betray me! No! No, get away from me! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I don't even know how this is gonna work. Ha! Ah, you are fucked! <laughs> Why even use the sword when you've got a door? Now, as far as I know, there is a second zombie that spawns. That zombie, I believe, can open this door. However, the initial one can't. So I'm gonna, while they're trying to fight over, you know, who gets where, I'm gonna put that there just in case. Just so I can save the sword for later. Now. I might choose to load this up for an impending enemy. Who I actually dread fighting. I'll say one thing this game, it just loads of aggressive enemies early on. I have an interesting perspective. Now, I think this, the instruction, oh, fuck. What? Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, what is this? Oh, I am straight fucked. Oh, I hate this game. I remember now why I hated this game. Fucking zombie hacker. Oh, I am so done. Oh, this sucks. I can't even hit anything. Oh, I love you, game. I love you! Oh, uh, this game is so much fun. You feel weak? I bet. I fucking bet. I am doomed. Fight for my life. No, fucking- what? No! 
Oh, I'm gonna make it, I think. No, I don't want you. I don't, I don't like you. Oh, somehow this is gonna work. Oh, got it! Zombie punch! Oh, kick! Oh, look at that! Oh, you guys failed and turned into balls. Oh shit, there is still another zombie out there. Uh, gotta get that item and get the hell out of here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Use, come on. Fucking take them both. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh wow, Cher just like jacked him entirely up. However, I'm gonna just I'm gonna make sure of that. Because I have two hit points left. Uh, hopefully he'll just push, if he goes down the stairs, he'll just push the chair in front of himself. I could go back and get health to save myself, but no. We're not doing that. If I die, I die. <laughs> 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 